along the sinking sand in the storm is close at hand and all my anxious fear and worry they surround and like a flood the herd rushes in I am on the troubled sea The restless waves underneath my feet Though the waters rise around And my faith sinks within me I'm not too far from mercy's reach When my hope a dying ember Won't you remind me So I remember Oh rock eternal Oh God of ages Your name is higher Than songs can sing Through every struggle The trials and chains Thy glory guide me in perfect peace. I am on the desert sand, endless miles from the promised land. Everything that is within me longs to know. Where you lead, hold the trust when I don't understand. When my hopes are dying in, won't you remind me? So I
Let the praises go out as the blessings come down. Let the praises go out as the blessings come down. Come on, sing. Let the praises go out as the blessings come down. Let the praises go out as the blessings come down. Let it rise. Let the praises go out. Sing, I'm going to praise, because I'm going to praise him, praise him till I'm gone, because I'm going to praise him, praise him till I'm gone, because I'm going to praise him, praise him till I'm gone, yeah, because I'm going to praise him, come on, bless the Lord tonight in this place, come on, praise I'm going to until I'm gone
desire A child of God Yes, I am a child of God Maying Adlaw, Pilipinas, ilabi na sa ako mag-eksunan sa New Life in Christ Fellowship, din ha sa Butuan City, o sa nagkainglaing kabaryuhan, o siyudad sa Mindanao, o sa Visayas, akong paginaot nga naunta ka mo sa maayo nga panglawas. Nining kabuntagon, akong iwali ang mga pulong sa Diyos, kabahin sa pagkinabuhi nga makapahimot sa Diyos, o sa pagkinabuhi nga naka inline sa kabubuton sa Dios. Ang akong scripture ni ning kabuntagon nagikan sa libro ni Isaiah. Isaiah 43 verse 16 to 21. I'm talking about a message for us to live a life that honors God. Pagkinabuhi diya sa kabubuton sa Dios ug usab sa pagkinabuhi sa ginahimo nga butang sa Dios nganhi kanato ang minsayan nako nining kabuntagon naga uh, uluhan og uh, God is doing new thing sa scripture nga gihatag ko kan- kaninyo ganina naghisgot kini sa mga butang nga uh, gusto sa Dios nato nga kinabuhi on i would like to remind each one of us niini nga uh, Nini nga uh, minsahe sa atong gibasa ganina sa uh, Book of Isaiah chapter 43 dunay mga kamatuoran nga gikinahanglan nato nga makita nini nga uh, scripture Nagingon diha ang pulong sa Dios nga God's changelessness is a powerful and important doctrine in our faith Remember, hinom dumini nga ang Dios dili mausab. Kay dili man siya mausab, mo kana ang atong gibarugan nga gipsulti sa Dios kanato ug diha sa tong pagtuo nga naa kaniya. Sa Book of Numbers 23 verse 19, nagaingon ang pulong sa Dios na God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? May egsoon, may higala mo ka na ang atong gialagaran nga Diyos. Dili siya mag-usab. Ang iyang plano, iyang tumanon, ay ang ipamulong, iyang buhaton. So muna ang minsahe nga akong ihatag sa atong mga kaegsoonan nining taknas kabuntagon. O usap, usap po nga akong ipasabot mo kini. God's supernatural stability gives us security. Maghatag ka ng siguridad sa atong kinabuhi kung kita nagtuo nga ang Diyos usaka gamhanan o makahimo sa tanan. Tungod ni Ana, nagasalig kita kaniya. Tungod kay kung siya mo saad, dili ka na niya usbun. O kung siya mo saad, iyagod ka ng buhaton. His mind continue to love us and do na siya standard sa justice and mercy. So, that is why it's a reminder to all of us nga ang Diyos nga imog akong gilagaran dili mausab si ang isaad. Pero, hinumduman na to nga kita mausab. God does not change but people do. When people change, God creates a new way to work with them. He never changes, but He never stop creating new thing. Ang Diyos, di mausab, pero nagpadayon siya sa pagbuhat sa mga bagong butang. Ang atong sitwasyon karon mga kaigsuunan, o sa kinika bagong butang sa atong kasinatian. Sukad sa akong paghimugso ninyong kalibutan na, sukad sa akong pagkristuhanon, unahim akong pastor, kining kahit 
sa kalibutan karon wala kini nato masinati mo magali usahay magunahon na kita unsa mangka atong kaugmaon unsa mangka ang humaniini but god always do new things ug sa ako nang uh, akong pangunahon na ug sa akong uh, nahasabtan sa dios kay dili man siya mausab nagpabilin siya nga dios nagpabilin siya nga nasa ang trono apan usahay sa atong kinabuhi nga pirmi kita uh, mausab sa atong panglantaw sa atong pag pagsilbi kaniya ang Dios muhimo og mga bagong butang aron i-fit in niya ang atong sitwasyon karon because God does not change but the first thing he did in this world history that he has never stopped doing creating he doesn't stop creating things he never changes but he never stop creating new things so ang libro ni Isaiah si Isaiah ni sulat ni anang bahin sa kasulatan sa sitwasyon sa mga Israel so God used Isaiah to tell the people Israel that God care for them that God is in their side that God will bless them pero kini nga sitwasyon when when Isaiah wrote wrote that uh, scripture nahibaw na to kung basaw na tong Biblia kaya that's the time of transition so nakita niya ang kasalanan sa mga tao ang mga abusive Israelite he abuse other people so mumanggali sa sitwasyon when Isaiah wrote that passage of scripture God changed their politics He split the kingdom and commanded the northern kingdom to follow him. So, nag- nabuak ang gingrian sa Israel na himong north na duha, north and south. God continue to give them instruction, but the northern kingdom keep on disobeying God. And the reason why they became defeated by their enemies because they turned their back from God. Now, karon focus naman siya sa southern kingdom God changed them again and he sent the southern kingdom the message so during the time of Isaiah he saw all those attacks of the enemies of the Assyrians so sa time ni Isaiah ang northern kingdom of Israel was not spared The southern kingdom of Judah was next in line. After the northern kingdom continued to follow their own desire to worship other gods and disobey God, God allowed them to be defeated, to be scattered by this Assyrian army. Mga makililisang, mga kasundaluhan na may atake kanila and God did not spare them. But God allows them to be defeated, to be scattered. Karun, kinsay sunod, Then Southern Kingdom usap ang sunod sa Judah. The people of Judah had limited option. When they were attacked by the Assyrian, unsa may lang himoon? They have to retreat and go back to Egypt as their forefather experienced. They became captives and slave in Egypt. So karon dun na sila mahimo, na? Kung mukig alliance sila sa Egypt o mo surrender ba sila sa pag-atake sa Assyrians or they will stand their ground and fight. Pero hinumduman nato nga ang Assyrians usa kini ka like like a lion. Parang they are just the Israelites will just like a lamb and the lion is trying to attack them. They have fear, they have failure, but they have faith. So unsa man ilang angay buhaton so mamanggali na ang ang point dinhi mo ni in order to save my people god said from their enemies i created a dry path through the red sea so that's what happened so giablihan ni ang red sea para nga para mga makaiskapo sila sa ilang mga kaaway god opened the red sea 
and they were able to pass the Red Sea. He made the Red Sea dry land for them to pass. Now, in order to save my people from spiritual thirst, I am going to do the exact opposite. I am going to create streams in the desert. So, muna ang nahitabo sa Israel. So, muna sa minsahe ng atong mabasa, din sa Isaiah, he wants the Israel to know that God, even though He knew, He gave them new things, but God planned all these things for His people to remind themselves that the God whom they are serving keeps on staying in His promises and fulfill His promise. So, in any uh, proposition, it is a reality. So, in spite of the new things man makes, life seems like a worn out gadget so even though nga karong panahon na dagha mga kausaban hitabo but still they cannot depend on these new things happen that is why there are three suggestions that would like i would like to tell each one of us this morning no? there are three suggestions with this passage that we have just read about what god is trying to tell the people israel and to tell us christians today do not tutulog kabutang Three things that one could do to make life like new. First, look back and appreciate, look ahead and anticipate, and look within and evaluate. Look back, look ahead, and look within. So sa atong sitwasyon karon sa worldwide incident, ining pandemic nga nahitabo karon, we are so scared. We are panicking. No, din sa din sa America. One month na kami nag stay home karon, stay at home, nag lockdown one month na. So ang mga tao karon parang at easy. Other states meron na ane nag demonstrate. Kay gusto na sila mo gawas ay lang panimalad. Gusto na sila mo balik sa trabaho. So they start uh, demonstrating against their Uh, governor against their mayor. Kay, usa ka bulan nga malakdan, wala trabaho. So, it's uncertain. Ang ugma uncertain. So, unruly na sila. So, it's it's a thing that happens today nga maraglisod nga masinati. But, for us Christians, remember, we have to remind ourselves Ngang imong akong gilagaron sa kadyos nga nagsaad, nga dili gayod siya mo paltos sa iyang gisaad. So, mumanggali nga, in, in God's economy, kining sitwasyon ka ron, ikaayo kini nato. So, ang problema ang attitude sa kasing-kasing sa tao. So, I would like to quote this. It is the attitude of the heart of a person that makes old things become new and exciting it's not how the world around us looks it is how we look at the world around us dili nga sa pagtanaw nato sa atong palibot sa kalibutan sa sitwasyon karon but we have to look the world around us so kini nga kini nga kini nga panultihon nagdasig gani kanato nga dili kita madala sa panghitabo ron apan ang atong focus na sa Dios nga nagasaad so unang butang is to look back ingon sa Isaya 43 bersikulo 18 forget the former things do not dwell in the past kinoon we have to forget the past we do not have to dwell on the past but we have to look back and appreciate the past so Isaiah remind the people Israel that God is doing things in the past. But we have to remind ourselves that the God whom we are serving is the same God we are serving today. When the Israelite was delivered from the Egyptians, the, the, the Red Sea was open, they were able to walk in the dry land. So, they see the miracle of God. Looking back, mga kapati, mga kaigsunan, we look back of what God has done to us. So, kung aniya kita sa sitwasyon nga malisod, 
hinumduma nato ang gihimo sa Dios sa atong giagian atong hinumduman ang kaayo sa Dios sa atong kinabuhi tinuod kalimtan nato ang nangagi tinuod dili kita magpabilin sa nangagi pero remind ourselves so sa atong panahon karon sa atong siguro kalisod karon ang Dios dili magpabaya kay gihimo na niya kagahapon ang iyang gihimo kagahapon pwede niya buhaton karon so sa sitwasyon natin karon ang kalisod nga na, na sa gubang sa kalibutan karon what God has done on the past will all, he will also do it in our time today so appreciate your past appreciate what God has done to you so so what can we expect to see in our past we are weak in sins in our wicked lifestyle ang kalibutan wicked but if we only focus in our, our eyes to the gray spots we'll never see and appreciate the glorious signs that happens in the past so do nay mga maayong gihimo sa Dios kanato so we have to look back we have to remind ourselves and appreciate what god has done in our life unsa may ang gihimo kanato una ang gihimo niya kanato god feed us in the past nya to na gi god feed me nung nahudtan ako god provided all my needs it is physical thing that god will provide us and sometimes god will provide us spiritually god nurture us god lead us to his abundance so that's what god done to us so he feed us in the past ikaduha God has forgiven us in the past. Gigpasaylot niya kita sa atong giagian. So as we look back once again, we see our numerous sins and transgression that God had forgiven. God had forgiven each one of us. And we have to remind ourselves what God has done to us. Ikatulo, God has freed us from the past. So nahimo kitang miro kita nakita itali kala o o chain o o bandage just like what happened to Egypt to the Israelites to the Egyptians they became bandage they became slaves so that's what they God did to them in the past and God freed them gipagawa sila sa Egypt o gitagaan sila bag o nga puesto o bag o nga lugar nga gisaad sa Dios kanila so in the past, we have worries, we have failures, we have sin, and even self, selfishness are often the chains that binds us. But God had delivered us from all of them. So, muna ang mga butang nagihimo ka nato sa Diyos, mumagal, gikinanglan nato, nga atong hinumduman on sa gihimo sa Diyos sa atong giagian, tungod kay ang Diyos wala magpasagad kanato kung ang Dios wala magpasagad kanato sa atong pas ang Dios labaw nga dili magpasagad kanato sa atong panahon karon kikaduhan nato buhaton basing upon the scripture that we have just, what we have just read in Isaiah 43 look ahead and anticipate i tell you ang atong sitwasyon karon muagi ta ani no Sama ra kita nga nag-agi sa tunnel. We do not go through a cave. Ang cave walay lutsanan. Ang cave pag walay lutsanan ang cave, pero ang tunnel adu na lutsanan. So we will appreciate as we look ahead. So ingon pa sa Isaiah 43 verse 19, See I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? So nagmaghimo siya nga bag-ong butang sa atong mga kinabuhi naghimo siya bag-ong butang sa atong kinabuhi so we look ahead and probably unable to see brighter future no? sa atong sitwasyon karon atong ekonomiya karon atong trabaho do na pa trabaho do na pa ba tay maayong kaugmaon ugma after all these things sometimes mag maghatag kana kanato og uh, stress atong kinabuhi so that is why if we think the situation today if we look at it in the in the eyes of this world we will all be depressed 
what happened next. But in the eyes of God, remember this, God will do new things in our life. We just look ahead of, of, uh, of the situation. And we know that we are just walking in the tunnel and there is the end of the tunnel. There is light on the tunnel. God said, I am doing new things. I tell you something happened when we go back again in fellowship. Babalik na sa atong kasimbahanan, we know we something different. Why? Because God did something in our life. Unsa may mahatag sa kalibutan karon? God only offers something that is in this world, but it doesn't feed our soul. Mumanggali, kanato nga mga Christian sa kanikadako nga kasintian, nga ibinduan niya tita sa sitwasyon karon, mutan aw kita humani ini. Nagto ako nga dunay dunay mga revival nga sinati na tong tanan. So, tulog ka prinsipyo atong tagaag pagtagad karon. Tulog ka prinsipyo. So, there are three principles that can be solid grounds for hope. Na natay paglaom, no. Dili kita nga sandal naka 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 end na kita, marag did end or break wall. Wala kita nga did end na. There is light going through the tunnel. So, there are three principle para mag magbaton kita og solid foundation sa paglaom nga gihatag sa Dios kanato. Number one, let us abide in the words of God. Ngano, tungod kay ang pulong sa Ginoo is standard. Gipanulti na gipamulong na sa Dios. Ang yang gusto nga mahitabo, it's a standard for us to follow. But we have to believe what he said. The Bible said in Hebrews 11 verse 1, we need to have faith because faith is sure of what we hope for and the certain of what we do not see. So, mga butang nga di pa nato makita, God has given a certainty kano man nakakita sa mga kamot sa Dios. We have to look at it sa positibo nga panglantaw. Remember what God said in Romans 28, 8.28, all things work together. Ang atong kasinatian karon mahimo ka ng maayo. All things work together for good to them who love God. Kita nga higugma sa Diyos, these things will become good. We will see the result of this and will become good. So, we have to remind ourselves that we need to abide in the Word of God because the Word of God is our standard. Ikaduha, We need to acknowledge the will of God because the will of God is our security. No? Dun ay uh, ginaingon nga ang pinaka-secure nga lugar nga atong maatuan is when we are in the will of God. Kung nga ka sa lugar, even though you feel like abandon, daghang kayo, abundansya, but if you are not in the will of God, usa ka na kadelikado nga lugar. The only place that we are secure and safe is when we are in the will of God. So, mumagali, dili, ato buhaton, ang atong gusto lang, atong buhaton, ang gusto sa Diyos, because when we are in the will of God, we are secure. Nakita sa kasiguruhan. So, <clears throat> ikatulo, apply the wisdom of God, because the wisdom of God is our strategy. Ang istratehiya sa itong kinabuhi na sa wisdom of God. Mamagal, we have to know the scripture. We have to seek God. We have to pray because when we God give us His wisdom, that's the strategy that we have to do. Ang istratehiya sa Diyos, perfect. Mamagal, we just flow the strategy of God. So, munang tulog ka buta nga atong buhaton while we are, we, are, we are looking to our future. Ikatulo nga nga akong, akong ishare na ni nga takna, ah. remember this, hope is a very rare virtue. Hope give us the ability to hear in our soul a middleus harmony that would cause our faith, our faint bodies to dance into its rhythm. God's word, God's will, and God's wisdom are sure anchor of hope. A hopeful heart is a rock foundation of life's contentment. Ang atong kinabuhi din is kalibutan, dili gayod makontento, hangtod ng atong kinabuhi na sa kamot sa Diyos. 
Ikatulo, look within and evaluate. Sa sitwasyon natin yung karoon, sa atong kahimtang karoon, unta atong tanahon, ang atong kagalingan o mag-evaluate kita. Isaiah 43 verse 20, nagayon, I provide water in the desert and streams in the wasteland that they may procure claim my praise. So, sa sitwasyon ka ron, sa atong uh, panghitabo ka ron, we have to evaluate ourselves. Mamagali, it's a great opportunity for us, family, no? that they can come together and, and honor God and seek the Lord. God has given us this opportunity to be together, especially sa mga pamilya, sa mga loved ones. Wala ka ni mahitabo sa una. Every one of us are busy. We go Uh, uh, gawas dito, sulod din we cannot be together, but this time we are together, so make this an opportunity to really evaluate ourselves, unsa may akong nakulang sa akong pagsalagad sa gano'n unsa may akong nakulang sa akong pagsik sa God, so we have to evaluate ourselves so sitwasyon ka ron gikinanglan nga evaluate ato atong kagalingan, we will not forget what God has promised to all of us who love the Lord, who love His name So, we have to evaluate ang atong sitwasyon karon. So, we need to have a personal evaluation whether or not the effects of the facts of the past have changed our lives so as to gear up ourselves in the facing future. Doon na kita ugma. So, atong evaluate atong, atong sitwasyon karon. Tanaw na ito sa kulang na atong buhaton para kini nga makahatog ka na sa mayo na ito nga kaugmaon dia sa atong espirituhanon nga kinabuhi og sa atong pagpuyo dinhi sa kalibutan before the lord returns so dunay mga butang nga kinahanglan nato i-observe sa atong mga kinabuhi una life changes should be visible maybe sa atong pagpangalagad sa sa dios sa atong pagdugay nga kristohanon there is no real real changes sa atong kinabuhi so Nining panahon karon ni evaluate na totoong kagalingon because there must be right life transformation. Life transformation is the best proven in the manifestation of a changed life or changed character. The practical lives of Christian believers are living letter that the world leads and the world reads. So ang kalibutan nagtanaw sa tungo kinabuhi. Ang kalibutan nagtanaw sa atong gikinabuhi. Mumagalingon si Apostol Paul nga sama kita sa epistola. We are like an epistle read among men. Ginabasa atong kinabuhi sa kalibutan. Gitanaw ang atong mga kinabuhi. So sometimes it's, it's, it's easy to proclaim that we are Christian but sometimes it's hard to act on being a Christian. That's why we have to evaluate ourselves. Ikaduha, life changes should be inevitable. We know the scripture. We know what God said to us. Anyone be in crisis, a new creation. All the things has passed away. The new things has come. The changes in our life are result of our salvation experience. Ang tinood nga nga Kristo, ang tinood nga naluwas nga tao, mausab yun. Na kung mingo ni ka na luwas na ka na Christian ka, but there is no changes in life nato. It is questionable. Why? Because When we become a Christian, life should be changed. Tungo kay ang Dios ni puyo na sa tungo kina buhay. Changes happen naturally to a person who is born in the Spirit of God. When we invite Jesus in our heart, ang Holy Spirit ni puyo na to ug nagpanday sa kinasuluran sa tungo kina buhay. Gipangtangtang ang mga cobwebs sa tungo sa tungo kina suluran. Ginangtangtang ang mga hugaw nga nakadaot sa atong kinabuhi iya ka nang hinihinayon ng pagtangtang but if we allow him to do it we become cleans no we become clean mamagali when we accept Christ as Lord and Savior ang Holy Spirit mi puyo sa atong kinabuhi ug maghimo sila siya bag-o nga butang sa atong kinabuhi life changes should be inevitable ngano ang Holy Spirit ni puyo man nganha kanato ikatulo Life changes should be reasonable, for we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians chapter two verse ten. So we have to walk in them. Ang atong pakinabuo is reasonable because this is God's command in our life. Morning mando sa Dios sa atong kinabuo. Dili nato kalimtan ang saat sa Dios kanato, but permi kita 
magsunod sa iyong mga pulong makinabo o yun sa iyong kabubuton. Doon na inilang nga tao nga, nga nagsakay og train no? between states. No? Nagsakay siya sa train, kaila ila siya. Then, uh, while, <coughs> while the conductor collect the ticket, gitin, tanaw niya nga doon na ba yung mga ticket ang mga, mga pasahero. Doon na isa kainilang nga tao nga na nagduko-duko marag doon na siya gipangita iya yung tikit na wala gipangautan sa sa doktor sir don't worry sa tikit mo nga nawala i know you sir you are a right man you are a righteous man di na kinahanglan ako ang imong tikit no ay na pangita ato pero ang ang influential person ingon niya akong gipangita akong tikit dili tungod kay ako ipresent kanimo Gipangita na ako akong tiket kay wala ako kahebolo asa ako asa ang akong padulngan wala ako kahebolo asa ang end sa tiket ko mumagali akong gipangita make so na doon mga panahon sa tunga kinabuhi nga dili kita kahebolo sa tong padulngan but remember this we have the word of god that give us his promise his wisdom is here ang iyang ang iyang kaalam gihatag niya kanato just remind ourselves god is doing a new things in us Kung dili kita mausab ni ining paagi nga gihimo sa Dios kanato God will do new things to us para mo react kita sa iyang gusto mahitabo kanato. Mga kaigsoonan, God is doing a new things in our life today. God is doing a new things in the life of the church. Now we do not think that this happens. Wala ta maghinom maghunahuna nga morning mahitabo. Wala ta maghunahuna nga mag-lockdown ta sa balay nga mamimina lang ta sa wali through live streaming o through TV. Wala kita maghunahuna na ana. Tungod kay kita nga mga Kristohano, we like to shake hands with ad- other believer. We like to see them, we like to hug them. Pero karong panahon na God is teaching us something new things that we have to take advantage of it. Tungod kay dunay katuyuan ang Dios ni ining panahon karon. We need to have the wisdom of God. We need to seek God's wisdom so that we know His purpose in our life. Lastly, in conclusion, I would like to remind each one of us, look back and appreciate. Look ahead and anticipate. Let us continually accumulate whatever good we can learn from life, but commit to apply them in our daily lives. But more importantly, look within. Tanaw na to tong kagaling. Tanaw na to atong sarili and evaluate our situation today. Let us admit our shortcomings and allow God to transform us. Because God is doing a new things, then we have to look at ourselves and thank God that He is a loving God. He is not changed. He is the same yesterday. A powerful God who do great things to the people of Israel in the Bible is the same God we are serving today. And we know and we have that hope that He will return. And this is promise. Iyagay ng tumanon. Thank God that we are serving a God who fulfill His word. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Salamat o Dios. Thank you God for your goodness upon our life. Lord, help us, O Lord God, to really appreciate what you have done to us. And we have to be thankful for the great things you have done in our life. And help us also, O Lord God, to, to really anticipate the things that you are doing. Mo nang among kahimtang karun, we anticipate na mo ang umabot. Excited kami sa mabutang nga umabot, gino. And Lord, help us also, O God, to look at ourselves. I-evaluate na mo ang among kaugalingon. Unsa nakulang na mo, God. And during this time, O oh God, during the time of lockdown nga nahimo na mo karon, Lord, help us to really seek you and look at ourselves on sa mga butang angin mong buhaton to honor you and to give glory to your name. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you, God, for your Bible, O oh God, that give us, given us encouragement to serve you more. Bless your people, O oh God, and bless this life, O oh God, who really seek your face. In Jesus' name, Amen. Salamat mga kaigsunan. Magkita kita sunod. God bless you all.
Where would I go? Where would I go?